What's up guys, Matt out here. Eagle Creek doing a little remodeling today on a new construction. Let's turn around here and look right behind me. We've got these uh, little eyebrows here. Let's see if I can point at them. We got a little eyebrow there. We got a little eyebrow there and we got one over this other side. Well, this right here, if you notice, it has a flashing right up here and it has a flashing right up here. And on those flashings, uh, when you're running siding up through here, you need to put a kick out flashing, which is sometimes a challenge, or you're gonna have water running down behind that flashing, and you're gonna rot this whole wall out right here of this house. A simple solution is to do a little bit of an architectural fix and make it look good. I'm gonna spin you around right here, look straight over here at the neighbor's house, and you can see they have an eyebrow that goes straight across here, and then, oh man, I cannot make my finger work. This is like uh, this is like cutting the back of uh, cutting the back of your neck with some clippers. But anyways, they've got this little uh, eyebrow right here, and then the little roof returns on this one. So that's what we're going to do over here. We're going to leave the little roof returns here because that's all going to get rock right here. I've already started tearing that off, and I'm just going to make one go straight across there so that the siding will go right up beside this window and then we'll have some siding or some shake up there in that gable, so stay tuned. Uh, so check it out. Uh, I've got this thing all the way ripped off. It's really hard for me to get the perfect view on it because I'm standing up here on the uh, front porch roof. And one more step and I'll be standing down there on the lower porch. But anyway, so I've got this thing all the way off. Uh, I just cut my two by six sub fascia. I'm gonna run it from right over here all the way across to that bar drafter that comes down through there. So we'll put that sub fascia on. We'll put a board right across there on the wall. We'll block that in all the way down through there. And then we'll put our little rafters up there, put our plywood on, and we'll be able to tie that roofing right in. And let me jump up here and we'll be able to tie that roofing right in and lace it right on up that roof right there. All right, guys, we have got our eyebrow built here. It's built all the way across, tying into this one. We've got our little rafters on there, board on the wall, just a little trimming up in here and it'll be ready for plywood. We don't have any plywood that's gonna make that today. So right now I got Tim bringing the, uh, I got my hardy soffit laying right here. And we're about to stick that right up under here to complete the soffit. Then we'll put our freeze board back across there, put our trim piece on top of the window, and then we'll be ready to uh, proceed and get our counter flashings down here at the bottom. We got to get a counter flashing up this side, our corner boards on, then we'll be able to put our LP smart side on this front. All right, guys, uh, we're finished for the day today. And let me turn this around here and I'll show you. We didn't have a piece of plywood for up top. I got to pick that up at the supply house, but we got the uh, fascia board on going across there. We got the freeze board on going across there. We got the window trimmed out. And as soon as I jump down off this roof, I'm going to give you a front view of what this looks like now with the uh, new construction. The house wrap up there, I've still got it pulled up to go down over the roof flashing. So let me jump down off of this porch and I'll give you one more view. All right, I'm down here on the ground and here's a shot of what it looks like. Let me back up here in the road. And I know the shingles aren't up there yet, but so check that out. Instead of having the, uh, the little eyebrows on each side, we went ahead and did that return, which goes all the way across the top of that window. I think that's actually pretty sweet looking. And you know, once it's done, I know the sun's in here, but it's gonna look more like this one right here is and kind of give it a uh, contrast rather than everything looking the same on the front right there. All right, guys, it's the next day and I got that piece up there fixed and got it all felted in. Let's run up the ladder and I'll give you a little close up look at what the finished product is. All right, let's go up this ladder right here. We'll check it out. Check that out right there. Got it all felted in. 
tied it in under those shingles right there just it's supposed to rain tomorrow and didn't want to get all that plywood wet and run water in behind the window but pretty sweet got my felt running up behind the flashing we'll get those roofers over here we'll tear the rest of these shingles off all the way up to the top and start down here and we'll get them to run their starters lace it in on this valley i wish i'd have got a picture of that valley uh, the plywood came over and rested on that thing so perfect. All right, guys, thanks for joining us today. Watch me tear that little roof return off and build this beautiful eyebrow back. We built it for two reasons. One, because I like the looks of it better. And two, because we didn't want to have to put that flashing in there and shed that water down that siding. And we can also put some shake up here or whatever we decide. But if you like what you saw today, go down there and smash that subscribe button and I post every few days, so turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any more videos, and I will see y'all in the next video.